The great mind of Marcus Aurelius once said, look within, within is the fountain of good, and it will ever bubble up if you will ever dig in the vast expanse of Stoic philosophy. Many teachings have become widely recognized, guiding countless individuals through life's challenges yet within this. Treasure Trove there are lesser known lessons profound and transformative waiting to be unearthed today we journey together into the depths of stoicism exploring seven lessons that might be new to many but hold the promise of timeless wisdom and insight join us as we delve into these hidden gems and discover the richness they offer for our modern lives before we begin i would appreciate if you like the video so that you can help me to continue spreading the Stoic Philosophy. If you are not subscribed, I recommend you to subscribe and activate the bell so you don't miss any video. Lesson number one, the art of Osis Stoicism, a philosophy rich in wisdom and guidance has many teaching that have stood the test of time. But today let's delve into a lesser known facet, a hidden gem, if you will Osis, while it might sound like a mouthful, its essence is something deeply relatable and Profoundly human originating from the Greek word for belonging or familiar osis speaks to our innate drive to care for ourselves and the realization that this drive naturally extends to others. It paints a picture of interconnectedness, a bridge between the love we have for ourselves and the love we rate into the world. Picture yourself standing in the midst of expanding circles. The innermost circle wrapping closely around you symbolizes your immediate family ass. The circles grow, they encompass friends, acquaintances, your local community, and eventually the entirety of humanity, this. Imagery inspired by the Stoic philosopher Hierocles is a poignant reminder of our place within the vast expanse of human relationships reflecting on this interconnectedness. The wise Marcus Aurelius once observed what is not good for the bee this thought nudges us to. Recognize that our individual well-being is deeply intertwined with the collective. Every gesture, every word, every action we take sends ripples through this vast web of human connections. So how might one weave osis into the fabric of daily life? Consider those moments of disagreement where emotions run high and understanding seems distant in such moments. Channeling the essence of osis means stepping into the shoes of another. Not to forsake your perspective, but to truly grasp theirs, this act of empathy can be the bridge that transforms discord into harmony and as you navigate. The world around you think about your role within your community, whether it's lending a hand to a neighbor participating in local events or simply sharing a smile. These seemingly small acts are threads that strengthen the fabric of our shared human experience as day turns to night taking a moment. To reflect can be enlightening, ponder upon your actions and interactions. Were they in harmony with the principles of Osis? Did they fortify the bonds that tie us? A log together, such introspection can illuminate our path, ensuring that our journey is not just for the self, but resonates with the collective. In the embrace of Osis, we unearth a stoic teaching that transcends mere individualism. It's a call, a gentle reminder of our shared humanity and the understanding that our individual stories are but chapters in the grand narrative of life by cherishing Osis we not only enrich our own existence, but also contribute to the symphony of human flourishing. Lesson number two, the value of asks is diving deeper into the reservoir of stoic teachings we encounter, Essis. While the term might initially seem distant, its essence is intimately tied to our daily experiences. Essis isn't just about self-denial or aestheticism in its traditional sense. It's about the rigorous training of the mind and soul, much like an athlete disciplines their body, think of it as mental fitness act. Cultivation of inner fortitude, Musonius Rufus, a stoic philosopher often left in the shadows of his more renowned peers championed the concept of essesis. He emphasized that philosophy wasn't merely a realm of intellectual discourse, true philosophy demanded action. It's one thing to understand it 
principle and another to live it. Breathe it and embody it. Imagine preparing for a marathon on reading about running or understanding the mechanics isn't enough one must lace. Up pound the pavement, feel the rhythm of each stride and confront the mental challenges that arise. Similarly, ASUS pushes us to engage actively with life's trials, transforming theoretical knowledge into tangible wisdom life with its unpredictable nature often presents us with challenges in these moments isis serves as a beacon urging us to confront these situations to extract lessons from them and to grow stronger it's about turning adversity into an alley a mentor marcus aurelius in his introspective writings aptly captured this sentiment the art of life is more like the wrestler's art than the dancer's life isn't a choreographed dance more often it's a wrestle, a tussle with unexpected challenges, is equips us to grapple with these challenges. Adapt and emerge resilient, so how does one weave asses into the fabric of daily existence? It's about proactive engagement when life presents a hurdle instead of recoiling. We should ask, what can this teach me? Every challenge becomes an opportunity for growth, a moment to refine the mind and spirit in the embrace of AIS. We unearth a stoic practice that fortifies us against life's tempests. It's a call to action and invitation to transform passive. Understanding into active wisdom by valuing esquises. We chart a course not just for navigating challenges, but for gen genuine personal evolution and enlightenment. Lesson number three. The cosmic perspective within the rich tapestry of Stoic teachings lies a perspective that is both humbling and empowering the cosmic perspective. This isn't merely about understanding our place in the universe, it's about realizing the interconnectedness of all things and the transient nature of our existence. The Stoics believe that to truly grasp the essence of life and our role in it, we must zoom out, way out, and view existence from a cosmic scale when we do this our personal troubles no matter how overwhelming they might seem become minuscule against the vast backdrop of the cosmos consider the stars the galaxies the infinite expanse of the universe our planet earth is but a tiny speck in this vastness and within this speck our individual lives with all their joys, sorrows, and challenges are even more fleeting. As Marcus Aurelius beautifully articulated, think of the whole universe as one living being having one substance and one soul and observe how all things are submitted to the one intelligence of this whole. Now this might initially sound disheartening. Are our struggles, dreams, and aspirations insignificant? Not at all the cosmic perspective isn't about diminishing our experiences, but about providing a broader context. It's a reminder that while our time is limited, our capacity to impact, to love, to grow, and to learn is bound. Imagine you're facing a challenge, perhaps a setback at work, or a personal dilemma. By adopting the cosmic perspective, you're encouraged to see this challenge, not as an insurmountable obstacle, but as a brief moment in the grand timeline of existence, this shift in viewpoint can be liberating it allows. Us to approach problems with a calm mind, to make decisions not out of panic, but from a place of understanding and clarity. But how can one cultivate this? Perspective in daily life, it's about regular reminding ourselves of the bigger picture, whether it's through stargazing meditation or simply taking a moment to reflect on the vastness of existence. These practices can anchor us, providing both solace and motivation in embracing the cosmic perspective. We find a stoic lesson that transcends the immediate and the material. It's a call to recognize the grandeur of existence and our unique, albeit brief role in it. By internalizing this perspective, we not only navigate life's challenges with grace, but also cherish its fleeting moments with a deeper appreciation. Lesson number four, the role of fate in personal growth among the myriad teachings of Stoicism. There's a perspective on fate that offers both solace and empowerment. While many philosophies grapple with the concept of destiny, Stoicism presents a unique take. It's not just about accepting fate, but 
leveraging it as a catalyst for personal growth. The Stoics believe that while we might not have control over the events that befall us, we, we have absolute. Control over how we respond to them fate in this context isn't a predetermined path we're forced to tread, but rather a series of events that offer lessons, challenges, and opportunities. Epicus, one of the prominent Stoic philosophers, once remarked, don't demand that things happen as you wish, but wish that they happen as they do happen, and you will go on well. This isn't a call for passive acceptance, but rather an invitation to align ourselves with the natural order of things to find harmony even in chaos be consider those moments in life when things didn't go as planned perhaps it was a missed opportunity an unexpected challenge or a twist of fate you didn't see coming while the initial reaction might be one of disappointment or frustration the stoic approach encourages us to ask what can this teach me how can i grow from this experience imagine you've been working diligently towards a particular goal only to face an unforeseen obstacle instead of viewing this as a setback the stoic perspective on fate would urge you to see it as a chance to adapt to learn and to evolve it's about recognizing that every twist of fate carries the seeds of growth waiting to be nurtured but how does one truly integrate this understanding into daily life it's about cultivating a mindset of adaptability when faced with unexpected events or challenges instead of resisting or lamenting, seek the hidden lessons, embrace the opportunity to learn to evolve and to become a better version of oneself in understanding the role of fate. In personal growth, we uncover a stoic lesson that is both timeless and profoundly relevant. It's a reminder that life's unpredictability, rather than being a source of dismay, can be a wellspring of growth and transformation by dancing in tandem with fate. We not only navigate life's uncertainties with grace, but also harness them as stepping stones on our journey of self-realization. Lesson number five, the dichotomy of value venturing further into the depths of stoic wisdom we encounter, a principle that challenges our modern perceptions of value, the dichotomy of value in an age where materialism and external validations often dictate our sense of worth stoicism offers up refreshing and enlightening perspective on what truly holds value. The stoics posited that there are things with an intrinsic value like virtue and wisdom, and then there are things to which we assign value such as wealth, fame, or societal status. The key lies in discerning between what is genuinely valuable and what is perceived as valuable. Aristo of Chios, a Stoic often overlooked in popular discussions, delved deeply into this concept. He suggested that many of the things we chase thinking they add value to our lives are merely external and transient true value he believed is found in the intangibles. In our character, our actions, and our understanding, imagine for a moment the accolades and achievements you've pursued or the possessions you've sought. While these might bring temporary satisfaction, do they offer lasting contentment? The dichotomy of value prompts us to question, are we seeking things? because society deems them valuable or do they align with our inner values and principles consider someone who has amassed great wealth but lacks integrity or kindness while society might applaud their financial success the stoic lens would ask at what cost on the other hand someone leading a simple life rich in virtue kindness and wisdom embodies the true essence of value as seen through stoic eyes to truly integrate this dichotomy into our lives it's essential to regularly reflect on our pursuits and desires are they driven by societal pressures or by a genuine understanding of what adds value to our existence it's about recalibrating our compass, ensuring it points towards true north, towards what genuinely enriches our souls. In embracing the dichotomy of value, we unearth a stoic lesson that is profoundly transformative. It's an invitation to look beyond the superficial to question the metrics by which we measure success and worth by. Understanding and living this dichotomy, we not only lead a life of deeper contentment, 
but also align our pursuits with what truly matters, fostering a legacy of genuine value and impact. Lesson number six, the practice of prososhi navigating the intricate pathways of stoic teachings we come across prove a concept that resonates deeply with our contemporary quest for mindfulness and presence proves of ten translated as attention is not just about being in the present moment but about being morally and ethically vigilant in that moment the stoics understood that our lives are shaped not just by the events that occur but by our responses to them every thought every decision every action has a ripple effect shaping our character and destiny Proust is the practice of being acutely aware of these ripples ensuring that our actions align with our core values and principles epicus with his profound insights the importance of proc he believed that while external events might be beyond our control our internal responses always remain within our domain he said men are disturbed not by things but by the views which they take of them prue is about taking a moment to assess those views too to ensure they are grounded in wisdom and virtue imagine you're in a situation where you're faced with a difficult decision the weight of the moment presses down and emotions run high instead of reacting impulsively the practice of prose would have you pause reflect and choose a response that aligns with your deeper values it's like a moral compass always pointing you in the direction of virtue in our fast-paced world where distractions are plenty and time seems scarce cultivating. Prose can be a trans-transformative practice. It's about taking a moment amidst the chaos to check in with oneself to ask is this action in harmony? With my values, does this thought lead me towards virtue? or away from it, embracing Prue is akin to lighting a lantern on our path, illuminating our way with clarity and purpose. It's a stoic practice that while ancient is incredibly relevant in our modern world by integrating prosy into our daily lives, we not only navigate challenges with greater wisdom, but also ensure that each step we take is in alignment with our trust self, leading us towards a life of authenticity, virtue, and purpose. Lesson number seven, the concept of sympathia. Delving deeper into the realm of stoic thought, we encounter sympathia, a concept that beautifully encapsulates the interconnectedness of all things. At its core, sympathia is the recognition that everything in the universe is interwoven and our actions know. Matter how small reverberate through this V, vast interconnected web, the Stoics believe that the universe operates in harmony with each part. Playing a role in the grand cosmic dance, this isn't just a poetic notion, but a profound realization that our individual actions have consequences that ripple beyond our immediate perception. As Marcus Aurelius eloquently expressed, all things are woven together and the common bond is sacred consider. The delicate balance of nature, a single change in an ecosystem like the introduction or removal of a species can have cascading effects on the entire system similarly. Our actions, thoughts, and decisions, whether positive or negative, send waves through the fabric of society and the cosmos imagine a simple act of kindness, like helping a stranger on the street this act, while seemingly small, can brighten someone's day leading them to perform another act of kindness. Creating a chain reaction of goodwill, conversely a negative action, can propagate negativity sympathy, reminds us of the, the weight and significance of our Choices in our daily lives embracing the concept of sympathy means recognizing our role in the larger scheme of things. It's about understanding that our individual story is a chapter in the grand narrative of existence. Every decision, every interaction is an opportunity to contribute positively to this narrative. But how can one truly live in harmony with sympathy? It begins with mindfulness before making a decision or taking an action pause and reflect on the potential ripples it might create. It's about fostering a sense of responsibility, not just for oneself, but for the collective in understanding and embodying sympathia. We discover a stoic lesson of profound depth. It's a call to see beyond the self, to recognize our place in the cosmos and to act with intention 
and purpose by embracing. Sympathia, we not only lead a life of greater awareness and responsibility, but also weave our own threads into the intricate and beautiful tapestry of existence.